This presentation will focus on management of oblique banded leaf roller, European red mite, and apple maggot, which are all pests of concern during the summer months. We'll start with the first summer brood of OBLR. Moths of this generation start to fly during the first or second week of June. The mean date in Geneva is June the 9th. Eggs are laid immediately and young larvae begin feeding on the foliage. Eventually, they move to the developing fruits. They often web a leaf to the fruit surface and feed underneath or in the area protected by fruits clustered together. Now, unlike other tortricids, oblique banded leaf rollers don't burrow into the apple, but rather excavate shallow pits along the fruit surface. This larval generation can be found through July. The second summer brood is easily overlooked, but can be just as problematic, especially if the first brood was not adequately controlled. Moths start to fly the first or second week of August. But by this time, foliage is pretty well hardened off, so the larvae move preferentially to the fruits, which are nearing maturity. These larvae don't normally get too big before going into diapause. They're generally at about second instar. The fruit damage they cause is very subtle and can easily be overlooked. Necrotic spots show up as a result of their pitting damage while the fruit is in storage. This graph shows some important OBLR life events. The blue curve shows that moth flight occurs throughout June and progression of egg hatch is in green starting at 360 degree, degree days from biofix. Now you can see that we also have a pretty good understanding of the progression of egg hatch, which is a great help in planning control decisions. Sampling for mid-sized larvae, which corresponds with the optimum treatment timing, should be conducted during the hatch period, starting about 600 degree days from the first adult catch. This activity often takes place around July the 4th. Monitoring for first summer brood larvae is recommended in blocks not having reliable OBLR infestations that would warrant protective sprays every year. You can use a delta or wing type pheromone trap, which should be in place by June the 1st. Hang one trap at head height in each of two to three randomly chosen trees in the block, including both an edge and the interior. Check the traps two to three times per week until the first moth is caught, and then wait 600 degree days, base 43, after this date. Then inspect foliar terminals for larval infestations using the sequential sampling chart found in the tree fruit guidelines. Basically, this guides you through the process of examining terminals 10 at a time for active infestations until you reach a stop sampling decision point. If you're below threshold the first time, sample again after another 100 degree days have accumulated, approximately three to five days later. And there are a number of preferred products available, including spinosids, spinosins, diamides, insect growth regulators, and BT products, as well as some premixes. <clears throat> 